Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I am talking about you, season number one, episode number four, The Captain. The episode is directed by um, Victoria Mahoney. And here we have Joe and we have um, Guinevere starting off at their awkward moment. You see, they had, they, had, they, had sucked for the first, they had sucked for the first time and Joe, well, he was not ready for what Beck was putting down. Or he was too ready. How, how you want to look at it, he came early. So either who, she wasn't satisfied. He felt bad. He he couldn't satisfy her because he thought he's going to put it down, and he's going to say he he, he, he thought that the, the day was the day he's going to show her what Joe is packing, and he's going to give it to her the way she's supposed to get it. And then he came in eight seconds. He said, "Ho, oh." oh. Dag nabbit. And so he felt awkward. She felt awkward. And then this episode here, you get to see, hear her inner thoughts and what she's thinking. Yep. And so she freaks out. She, she runs to the bathroom and, and to hide. She tells her friends, of course. And then she gets a call. She gets a, she gets a text from this guy who's calling for the captain. And, and since Joe has her own phone, her old phone, he he, he must listen to him, listen, watching it, and he doesn't he doesn't know who the captain is, and so his um um I guess you could say stalker sense and start tingling, so he has to find out what's going on, and so she she leaves town, telling her friend telling her friends, especially Peach, that she's going to go to some writers retreat, but she's lying, and so but she's going to see this guy called the captain, and Joe don't know who the captain is, so he's going to go and do his stalker thing and follow her, and now you have Peach who's on her investigation to find out who Joe is. She doesn't like Joe. She thinks pretty much because of her, Joe is a. Uh, uh, um, I'm not sure if she thinks Joe's a psycho, but she knows that Joe is getting is getting between her and her friendship with with Beck. Now, I could be wrong on this. I could be reading this all wrong. I don't know. And if I'm wrong or right, whatever it is, whatever your opinion is about this, leave your comments down below. Now, I think that Peach is secretly in love with um with um with Beck. I could be wrong on this because there was a scene in here and when she's talking to Beck and she's like playing with her hair and the way she's doing it makes me think that maybe Peach may have some feelings for Beck and she's trying to keep Beck to herself. Now I don't think she, I think, I don't know if Beck and, and Peach ever did anything together. I don't know. I keep trying to figure out why they're friends because Beck's not rich. She doesn't have a rich father. She, um... She doesn't have the same background as her. How did they get together? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Peach had a little crush on, on Beck and brought her in and thought she could pretty much mold her into the person she wants her to be. Maybe. I don't know. But that, that's just a thing. So you got Peach trying to figure out who Joe is. And so she and she also trying to figure out if Joe stole that book that, from Miles. And he did. He did stole the book. But she's trying to prove it. She hasn't had the proof yet, and so she goes to his bookstore where he works, and she interviews the guy who's there, but he doesn't have he, but he doesn't have access to everything that, that, that Peach needs, and so he's the dead end for her. The messed up part is, she actually is right for investigating Joe. Joe's a psychopath. He's a nutball. He is crazy. He killed the man, and he probably killed his ex-girlfriend. But... She's a butt too, so you don't really like her, but Joe's so sweet and so nice and so charming, but this, well, he's psycho, yes, he killed the man, and probably his ex-girlfriend, and, but he's a nice guy though, you kind of like him, like this, you know, Joe's a nice guy, he really is, very sweet, charming guy, has a nice personality, he even made fun of himself, when he, when he, when he, that he came early, and he, 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 he's the tension between, between Beck. Now here's the messed here's the messed up thing about Joe and the most awesome thing about Joe at the same time. Joe stalked Peach out of town to meet the captain who he found out was her father. He stalked her to this um this um I forgot what it was called, uh some type of dress dress up thing that they go to. I forgot who they were celebrating. Who they was dressing up as. They, they, they were doing her books. Oh well, it was it's it an old author. And everybody dressed up, dressed, up, dressed up like characters from her books. And so Joe was there, and Joe saw her, and then he, he, he kind of noticed that she kind of saw him too. And so he pretty much did the, the, the only thing he could do, let her find him. And then he acted like he's so shocked that she was there. I just, oh my God, what you doing here? And the thing is, though, that Joe knows that she was lying to her friends about this. And so he told her somewhat of a somewhat half-truth with some lies mixed in there. And then that she had to believe it because she can't question it too deeply because she's lying about, 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 not, about being there and about her father being alive. 
So she seemed like a bad guy. And so since she just she doesn't want to question Joe, she just goes along with it. And then Joe can stalk her right in front of her. That is genius. He got introduced to her parents. Well, to her father. He got, she got introduced to her father. Oh, my gosh. And her new stepmom and sister and brother. So he, he, he managed to be able to stalk her right in front of her face while her parents were there. I don't know that, that, that I don't know how that is sick, that is twisted, and also very genius. I don't know how to feel about Joe. I we should hate him. He is a psychopath, but at the same time, he's so charming. And he's also getting on life lessons and life advice about her father and relationships and how they how, how they be, should try to come together. Like, what is happening? It's so weird. It's so weird. And then the tables get turned this episode because you got um, Beck and away kind of stalking Joe. She, she, found out, she found out where he lives and his apartment. And the messed up part is he had her underwear there, oh, a book of hers there, oh, that, that book that he had that book there that he stole from Peach, that book there, uh -huh, and some other stuff of hers. And so he, he, he so he, so they, they, so they, they're making out, and he has to pretty much. Throw her around certain places so he can hide it at the same time. It was genius. It was, ma it was amazing. It was the choreography on that, on that scene was fantastic. I had to applaud it. But this time, Joe got a second chance to give um, Beck the business. And this time, he hit a home run. On the park, he get, he let her, well, he hit her spots in all the right places this time. He lasted only eight seconds. Well, good for you, Joe. You crazy psychopath. Ah, oh. oh, you crazy nut bar. But he, he did it this time. He gave it to her good. Uh, wow. But anyway, overall, great episode. It was funny. It was weird. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. The ups and downs of this show is just, is just plain madness. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of you. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy having fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, shabo, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out of people.